Hey, what's going on everyone? I've got a question here from one of my OG members, Crystalline. So, uh, Crystalline said, hey, is there a way that I can add subscription options to an order form? Uh, like, as in monthly or yearly. If you have multiple subscription plans, she wants them to be able to choose which one they want on their order form. Um, now, I've got a product set up here in Infusionsoft, and it is a subscription. You can see there are two subscription plans, uh, yearly or monthly. Uh, now, if you are going through a shopping cart checkout, right, then this is the page they'll see, and they'll be able to choose, oh, I want this option, or hey, I want this option, right? But if they are going through an order form, uh, well, it doesn't allow you to add the, you know, the the second subscription plan directly to that order form. You can see I already have monthly here. If I go to add the yearly subscription, it's going to say, hey, this product is already on the order form. It can't be added again. The reason for that is if you put a product on an order form, there's no way for the purchaser to remove that. So it only allows you to have one instance of each subscription there and it doesn't effectively give your customer the choice. So there's kind of a workaround to this and I wanted to record this video because uh, this is a question that I hear every so often and uh, there is a solution, it just has to, it, it takes a little bit of a creative approach and so I wanted to show you in case it saves you a little bit of headache or hassle, okay? So instead of adding your second subscription to the same order form, what I'm gonna encourage you to do is to create two order forms, right? So you should have a monthly subscription order form and an annual subscription order form. Uh, if you have more payment plans like quarterly or uh, weekly or something like that, uh, you can create an order form for each one of your payment options. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is copy the links from this order form directly to uh, you know a, a different text document so that you have a link to both of them. Here's the link to my subscription for the monthly one. Here's a link to the order form where you can purchase it annually. Now, from there, you're gonna wanna jump into the actual order form and then we're gonna update one of the HTML sections and add a, a, a static link that allows them to choose the other option. So this is my monthly subscription order form. If we look at the link to this form, uh, you can see that their only choice right now is to buy it on the monthly plan. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and hop into the HTML section here, and uh, you don't have to know any, any real code for this. You could just copy exactly what I type out, or you can use uh, you know some HTML that you had someone create or that you've created or some something that you copied from W3Schools or a resource like that. So let's go ahead and just type in, um, if you would rather purchase the annual plan, you can do that here, right? And then here's the way this works. So the, the things you want to make a link are gonna go between a portion of code, okay? So we'll do a left caret and then a uh, href equals and then we need a quote, and then this is where we paste the URL for the annual uh, order form. So let's go ahead and copy that, and we'll go ahead and paste that in, and then we do a closing quotation, and then we do a closing caret, and then this is the text, right? So that's gonna remain there because that'll be what they can click on, and then we can add the closing link, which is just caret uh, forward slash A to close out that A href we initially added. Again, if that's over your head, uh, not a whole lot you need to do with, with the mechanics there, uh, but just you can copy what I've done or you can copy this from W3Schools or a resource like that. Go ahead and click Save on it. Save all if you like. Uh, and then you'll click Preview. And what you'll see now is the a little line of text has been added. If you would rather purchase the annual plan, you can do that here. And if you want to customize this further, right? If there's additional changes you want to make to that, uh, to clean it up, or you know, add a border to it, or make that text stand out a little differently, uh, you can do that in this HTML section. Now, I know that you know I'm not a coder, and you know I know many of you, uh, your eyes kind of glaze over when you start seeing things like this. So, so that's fine. If if you, if this isn't your mo, there's not a whole lot more you have to do with it. But you can see I've added some center tags, and then I put a what I hope will end up being a little space below it so it's not just butting up to the, the, the box below it. So let's go ahead and preview that one more time. And you can see that looks a little better. If you, can, if you would rather purchase the annual plan, you can do that here, right? So I feel pretty comfortable with that. There's nothing else I wanna change. So what I'm gonna do is do the exact same thing for the annual subscription plan. So the goal here is to have two order forms that they can link back and forth between to give them the option that they want. So let's go back to my order form list 
and we'll jump in this time to the annual subscription. And again, we'll just navigate to the HTML tab and we'll go into the product information section. That's the area highlighted in green on the order form. So you can see I could add it to one of the other sections, but to have it be right in the middle of the form, uh, this is the one that I'm gonna use. And then instead of, if you would rather purchase the annual plan, uh, because this is the form for the annual subscription, I'm gonna change that if, to, if you would rather purchase the monthly plan. And then we just need to grab the link to the monthly order form. So let's go ahead and grab that and we'll swap it out for that link that uh, we had in there. And you can see a, a little bit of a different uh, extension there on the end of the link. And then we'll click save, save all. I'm not really sure what the distinction is there, but I tend to do both just as a best practice. Uh, and then now let's, let's go ahead and actually load up one of these order forms in a brand new tab. And you can see this is my monthly subscription. So there's a link on here if you would rather purchase the annual plan you could do that here. And if I click to that one, uh, now I've got the annual plan. And if you would rather purchase the monthly plan, you can do that here. So uh, obviously there's a lot more you can do with this. You can get more creative. You can uh, dress those links up so they're a little bit more attractive. Um, but this is a really simple solution to give your customers the choice between different subscription plans from an order form purchase rather than a shopping cart purchase. Hopefully this helps you out. Take care.